Okay everyone, Spicy Toast Gaming here. I hope you're having a great day and I hope this video can make it a little bit better. Today we're going to be testing out Leona versus Lissandra. Before we get into that, let's look at her star power. So up first, allies have Daybreak, or when you activate another Daybreak, grant me 1-1. One, one. Daybreak is a special Leona effect. You get a bonus if that card is the first card you play each round. So this is the core mechanic that Leona is built around. We also have the second star power plus one starting mana. When you level up an ally champion, create a morning light in hand, it costs zero. This morning light gives your allies one one this round, so it hits your whole board, then activate an ally's daybreak effect. So like we set up here, normally to activate daybreak, it has to be the first card you play in a round. Well, this is a spell that can manually trigger that, which is quite nice. Now this is gonna be very important for the relic setup we're going with. So going with Oath of the Guardians play, shuffle five level two champions into your deck, double their stats, then draw one of them. Now the key here is that these are all level two champions. So when we play Leona, we're essentially leveling up five other champions, which means we get five Morning Lights in hand that all cost zero. So we then have five spells that can buff up our whole board with this one one. But since we're activating Daybreak, it's also granting them 1-1. One, one, and we're able to activate Daybreak effects, so that can be very powerful as well. Now the second part of this, of drawing the champion, that doesn't really matter. Normally since we're playing Leona and then filling our hand with like five other spells, normally we're going to essentially overdraw, but that's fine. It's still a very powerful effect. Now we're pairing that with Starforge Gauntlets and Luminous Orb to get Leona to that Titanic value to get that plus one starting mana just so we can try to speed up her game plan. Now, if you enjoy and appreciate all the daily Path of Champions content, definitely like and subscribe, and let's get into it. All right, support champion, let's see what we can get. All right, so Nar has Stone Stacker. Yeah, that's not looking too great. Nocturne's interesting because he has Nightfall, so we get bonuses when it's not the first card we play. Not really a huge fan of any of these. Now, this would have Lifesteal, potentially. I think let's do a reroll, try to get something a little bit better for us. All right, more Nightfall. Rumble is an interesting one. Varus. I think we'll go for a Felios, but nothing here really looks too great for us. All right, quick draw cards you draw cost one less. Uh, we don't actually really want to fill up our hand too much more with memory game. This one can be okay. I think let's try a reroll, try to get something a little bit stronger for us. Fury, Afterlife Forbidden. Man, not really seeing anything too great. Having another unit on the board's not bad, but let's try one more. Huh, never seen this before. I didn't see this in the patch notes. When an ally is summoned, give it 2-2 two, two, and challenger and a random keyword this round. I feel like hold it is gonna be so much better, but that is tough. So this is rather difficult. Hold it is one of the best powers you can get in the Lissandra adventure, but I've literally never seen this before. So I'm gonna grab this and test it out, but Hold It is definitely the better option here, at least as far as the Lissandra adventure. But I really am interested to play around with this. We'll have to really try to take that challenger and use it to our advantage. Another stun, rally, a capture. That's pretty solid. Uh, more stats, don't really care about that. More stats and fury. Also don't really care. I think having another stun would be pretty good. So yeah, let's grab this. A one cost capture is pretty crazy. And more stuns and potentially some more draw if we need it. That can be okay. And we'll buy one of these just for the rally banner. Yeah, that'll be all right. all right let's take a look up top we have she who wanders in the middle we have inquisitor and we have it that stares down here don't necessarily think we want to try to go for the remitter and we pretty much don't have any re-rolls uh, so i think let's go here in the middle path so up first avarosian trapper gonna capture our first unit every round pretty rough uh, let's get rid of both of these happy with the other two though We can try to capture their units. I feel like I always start with the attack token for this one. We're just going to pass. 
if we would play something, they would just immediately capture it, so it would kind of be pointless. Raise your weapon, Sunwood. Devotion to battle. Right, we got to use those extra stats. Uh, yeah, we'll save our other cards. So we could give it Overwhelm. Or grant it 1-2. Uh, we'll just attack and get rid of their unit. Those extra stats in Challenger is pretty nice. Alright, so they'll play something. They'll capture this. And we'll play this here to immediately capture their unit and get our unit back. And sure, let's grab Aphelios. I think let's do the three damage. We might need that. So this is tough. We would love to play our Leona here. Granted, our hand is so full. Uh, let's go ahead and pass. So, normally we're trying to get rid of more cards in our hand so that we can make some more of uh, Leona's Morning Lights. But we'll go ahead and drop her here. So yeah, only able to make two. Not the best. Behold the sun's holy light. Normally you can make more of like three to four. So here, we're just working on getting some extra damage down on our units. To shine like the sun, you must burn like it! And then she levels up to make another one. Let's give her Overwhelm, though, since we're going to try to, a beam of light to pierce the heavens. do a good amount of damage. So normally we'd have one more unit that got captured, so we could potentially could have ended here, but still pretty solid. His fire burns bright in our hearts. Right, we'll immediately the capture that. Let's give our Leona spell shield. But left my rage. With an axe in place. All right, this is potentially GG. Yep. Uh, getting more copies of our Daylight Spear, really good. That is solid, but we just need more of this in our deck. Uh, two cost and fleeting. So we could potentially play this round one. We'll go for it. That could really help us out. All right, Sage or Starlet Seer with I Am Inevitable. Both of these will be pretty bad. I think let's actually go for the Starlet Seer. All right, we have Daylight Spear already. That's pretty good. So we want to try to play as many cards as we can in the beginning. Really free up our hands so that when we play... Leona, we have space for all the cards she's going to generate. May our light shine forever. A chill in the air. Raise your weapon, Sunwind. So getting that permanent daybreak is so good. Alright, able to kill both of their units. Wonderful. We don't have a Leona, which isn't the best. 
But still, everything's going pretty well for us. Uh, I think we'll save this for when they drop some just crazy big unit. So I think let's pass... Uh, sure, let's drop that goat. We see through all. Oh, an auspicious season. All right, let's go ahead. I think we only have two Zenith Blades, we're not going to pull any more out, which is a little sad. Hmm, it's conflicting, so we could try to play this right now. Capture one of their units. Alright, that's... yeah, we're going to wait for something bigger, but... Alright, GG. Morning Light giving that Hextech Fabricator, that's really good. Honestly, so far the Grander, Grander Plaza, which is pretty hilarious, uh, doing pretty well for us. Those extra stats in Challenger really helping us take out enemy targets every single round and helping us win these games a lot faster. So, awesome. Uh, next up, Poros Lead and Frost Gathers. Uh, this looks pretty good. Let's get rid of both of these Morning Lights though. Being able to play this round one is pretty nutty. The new powers they've added are a lot of fun. Keeps changing up the game and I love it. So yeah, we wouldn't be able to survive here if we didn't have those extra stats. Also, getting the extra starting mana from Starforged is so good. Uh, yeah, let's drop this here. Alright, let's get rid of this. I'd like to get rid of the Poro, but I feel like we need to get rid of this giant one over here. Alright, pretty good. Not doing that much damage, but at least we're... Getting rid of all the annoying Poros, which is fairly important. So we could drop our Leona this turn. I think we actually won't, though. Because we want to have that for the attack, all those extra stats. Uh, yeah, I think let's... Grant that one, make it be a little bit bigger. Want to make sure it survives. Uh, here, let's actually buff up this one a little bit. Since they can essentially challenge any of our units from the vulnerable, we want to make sure that all of our units are doing okay. Alright, I think our deck is looking pretty good so far. But you know what? Let's buff everything up just to be safe. Also to get rid of more cards for our Leona. Alright, so we're literally getting rid of like all of their units, which is pretty awesome. Only surviving with Barrier and their new one they summoned. So, we made six of them, five from all the champions, and then one more for Leona. And we can now just stun so many units. Like, this is a board where we could buff it up to the point of one-shotting 
uh, Lissandra. Right, this is probably... Probably GG. Yep. So this is an interesting one. It would really fill up our board, but it would give us a ton of healing. Because when it's summoned or destroyed, which is going to happen, so that's like 10 healing from one and a 10 healing from another, that is tough. It would be a lot of board space, but would really help our sustain. I think we will do it. Hopefully we never really need to, but... I mean, already we're at 27 health. If we got lower, we could just drop that in the match and really help us heal up. Uh, allies having overwhelms, not bad. Uh, can't spare the board space. We definitely don't want game start to draw two. So normally units are going to be stunned, but I don't necessarily want to use my last reroll right here. So I think we'll just take the overwhelm, be happy with it. Smooth soloist, that'll be nice. All right, the Inquisitor with I am inevitable. Uh, we'll get rid of both of these. We would like to again have our new two cost unit, Ravoon, Daylight Spear. You know, play him in the beginning has been so helpful. Bless the people and fear the heretics. Devotion to battle. Uh, this could give us another unit. Sure. Uh, we'll go... Let's go for the lifesteal, actually. I can do this! Follow the horizon! Follow my lead! Yeah, I'm really like playing with the... the Grandeur Plaza. It's actually been really enjoyable. Alright, three to all units. A little rough. So not having the Daylight Spear is definitely rough. We'll play our Leona here, potentially be able to end. The dawn has able to get four in hand, that's not too bad. Behold the sun's holy light. Now they might frostbite us. Yep. Which is unfortunate, but not the end of the world. Perfect, so they are out of mana. We're just gonna keep buffing up and end the game. Behold the divine power of the sun. The sun's splendor reveals. So it's just gotta go through a little bit of animations. I guess we might not quite be able to make it because of the uh, unit that got frostbitten. I love how much it buffs up our whole board. It just wish we had more people on it. Uh, let's actually activate his daybreak effect. That would give us a little bit more damage because his daybreak effect is another 1-1 one, one, whereas we don't really need to leave it stunning all right so not quite able to end but did pretty well do we care about killing them uh we probably should since we're not ending That's fine. I think we'll drop this here just so we can heal up. The game's pretty much over. Glorious light rains down. All right, they play something. We'll just capture it and attack and end the game. GG. 
GG. Uh, quick attack will probably end up just killing this. Yeah, we can go for the protector. Alright, let's go down Smooth Soloist, get another power. Allies have 1-1 one, one for each keyword. That's really good because when we play them, one, everyone's going to have Overwhelm, so that's another 1-1. One, one. They're all going to have Challenger and another keyword. So, yeah, that's going to be pretty big units. Awesome. All right, Alpha Wildclaw, and at last they awaken. All right, let's get rid of most of this. So far, the run's been going pretty smooth, though. Sometimes we don't have Leona, sometimes we don't have our Ravoon, but overall, just doing really well. Daylight everlasting. Well, that's a little sad, but yeah, 12-12, that's pretty crazy. Uh, we'll just drop this here. Oh, these are really massive units. Yeah, they're scared to play anything. Alright, let's drop this one here. And we'll drop this to get rid of their wolf. They can attack every round, but they're always too scared to attack, which is great. Alright, been able to get our hand relatively low. Yeah, we'll drop this here. To shine like the sun, you must burn like it! We probably don't even need to use most of these. All the extra stats we've gotten were pretty massive. Alright, how are we looking right now? Yep, already enough, so let's uh, attack and end the game. GG. Uh, four cost... Probably gonna kill itself with the Reckoner's Mark. Summon another champion. Discard one to invoke a celestial card. So I don't really care about getting another champion. This would summon two units. The issue is those units that we're getting, they're not gonna trigger our uh, play effect if Alex have Daybreak when you activate another Daybreak. So I think I'd rather just have another <laughs> cheap unit that can buff up the whole board. Yeah, let's actually go ahead and go here, which I know probably seems crazy. Deal three to the enemy nexus. That's amazing. Yeah, let's definitely get that. Alright, shop. Uh, nothing standing out as crazy. Like, that's decent, but we have good sustain already. Uh, this being a one cost doesn't really matter. We already have something else that's essentially doing the same thing. Let's try our last reroll here. Free attack, focusing crystal. So this would help it scale up, so I guess we'll grab that. Nothing else here that I really want. So yeah, I think we'll just stick with what we have. It's been working pretty great so far. So Orn and at last they awaken. All right, let's give it a sunburst. And yeah, we can get rid of the shield bearer. Pretty good, but we really just want to get our Ravoon. Hold it steady for me. Like that. A good fight, the spice of life. Garlic works in a pitch. All right, let's just get a nice stun off. Keep them from attacking. Then we also have a big meaty blocker, and we'll hold off and play anything else because we want to trigger the daybreak. Ah, perfect. Alright, let's draw this here. Alright, let's play this, get rid of one of their units. Alright, so we should just focus on killing their units. 
So we're not doing as much damage as we could, but against these equipment decks, if you can just get rid of their units, they can really struggle. Because they have so many other spells and just equipment in their deck. But then they can kind of feel useless. Granted, they can now just play Orn. <laughs> Good. Yes. But we have an answer to that, so we're fine. Alright, I think let's go ahead and play this here. Alright, how is our damage looking? So, not quite enough. But we can buff this one up a little bit. Alright, so they might have frostbites, but we might be able to end here. Nice, GG. More copies of our Leona, perfect. Let's go for this epic item. Interesting, so this would capture and the copy would capture. Sure. This could really help us in, if we get into a really bad situation. All right, Lissandra with I am inevitable. All right, decent opening hand. Let's get rid of some of these though, just so we can try to get some more of our cheaper units to trigger more daybreaks and to get our Leona. Lifesteal, wow. Yep, so there's her Ice Shard buffing up her entire board to ridiculous levels. Not the best. So now, even though we have these massive units, not really able to attack because they can just block and kill us and we just scale them up even more. So we've built out our board. Granted, we don't really want to play Leona next turn. I am Iceborn. Embrace the Come, my warrior. Alright, so we're actually gonna play this just so we can get some captures off, as well as heal up a little bit. We kind of need to buy time for next turn. All right, we'll let this one die here and we'll just have this hit our Nexus. We don't want any of our units to die. So this will be pretty tough. It really just comes down to what do they have. I am the bulwark against darkness. If they have the mana, they might just entomb our entire board. And if they do that, then that's, well, game. But we have the possibility to stun their whole board, buff ours up, and really nuke their nexus. But, yep, they have Buried in Ice, and so we don't get to play the game. <laughs> I 
All right, we will drop our Dustbringer. <laughs> of course. Uh, let's try to buff this up to the point to at least kill Lissandra. That would be nice. No more hiding. Granted, they're just going to attack and... Be able to kill us next round. The trolls are going to war. All right, so we could play Leona. She would stun the Watcher, and so we'd have a blocker on the board. She would overfill our hand with daylights again, but. I feel like that's probably our only hope. Like, we could kill it, but then we wouldn't have a blocker. So let's stun it. And it's entombed. Makes sense. Alright, we still have a blocker. And we had, like, full health. Uh, let's go ahead and stun one of these, just trying to reduce down the damage we're taking as much as possible. Alright, I think I will play this. It would be nice to have a full board to get all of these buffs. Again, we're very slow. We have a very slow playstyle, though, where we need to develop our entire board. So if if they have stuff to stop us, then we're not gonna have a great time. So we'll just we'll play this slow because that's our only chance of winning. But if they have another buried in ice, if they have more tombs, if they have more uh, frost bites, uh, then. We're kind of out of luck. All right, another buried in ice. Yeah, that's not great. Suppose we could have attacked and tried to kill some of them, but we wouldn't have been able to end the game. Silence an enemy follower. So there's another Leona. Solari Soldier. Sure, let's replace this and silence that so we don't have to worry about it at least nuking our Nexus anymore. Uh, we'll stun this one. This one has more power, but it's not elusive or have overwhelms. So we can potentially block it out. Uh, let's cast... well... Might as well try to buff him up a little bit. I see her. So let's go ahead and try to get rid of one of their other units. Try to do our best to survive as long as we can. So we could kill their Trundle. Again, Trundle doesn't have that Overwhelm, though. Is her stun not going off? Or did her stun already go off? Daybreak, when you activate another Daybreak, stun the strongest. Alright, we're going to try to get rid of this. Hopefully Leona's stun will go off. Yes, okay, I don't know why. Oh, that's frustrating. 
they're willing to end, so... Okay. I really want to buff up our board, but I'm really sick of getting <laughs> entombed. I mean, they might still entomb us. But let's just get rid of whatever we can. All right, so we're not able to end. We're not really going to worry about the Watcher, to be honest. We want to get a lot of damage down on their Nexus and heal back up. We could try to buff up our board, but I'm so sick of getting into him, they're not going to bother. Alright, so we're able to get... We're able to stabilize. Um, sure, when you destroy the landmark... I mean, we're not really going to do that much, but it's a big unit. Yeah, if we spent the time to build out our board, potentially could have ended that round. Uh, don't think we really have any way to kill her. I think I'll... well... Since we have a limit on how much we can play every round... Gonna try to play a lot. We'll save this one though for next round to stun their board. I think we'll pass and save some of this for next round. So this will stun two of their units, or more. Sunlight burns in our weapons. Yeah, both Leonas, they both should have one go off. All right, they got rid of that spell shield. They're buffing up their board. <laughs> they're willing to end. Uh, I do kind of want to play this Ravoon. Let's go ahead and drop this here. Alright, let's keep buffing up just a little bit more. I want to be able to open attack next round. Beam of light to pierce the heavens. Because I don't want to get entombed again. They are going to have their... Yeah, their Ice Shard. Which isn't great. Unwavering strength. But hopefully we can still... Kill some of these units. Yeah, with that Ice Shard it's going to be rough. The thing is I want to attack and try to kill their units, but looking at ours, most of ours won't survive. Because since they have the Eye of Inevitable, when they cast this, they're giving their entire board 6-6. Six, six. So we're actually not strong enough to overpower this. I was hoping we were going to be, but that's not really the case. Alright, let's drop our Aphelios. 
we can try to get some stuns off. They might punish us for going a little bit slower, but I think attacking into this when they have Ice Shard is just going to be a bad time. Also, we already got Entombed twice. Maybe they don't have more of them. All right, so this Raboon is Frostbitten. Let's somewhat not bother with it. We have another one on the board. All right, so there is their Ice Shard out of the way. They don't have enough for another Entomb because it's five mana, at least normally. So now we have most of their boards stunned, and we know how big they're going to be. Uh, we can drag this aside. This is going to die and give us a rally. So if we don't somehow end here, we can attack again. GG. All right, decently fast time as per usual. Really fun run all the way up to Lissandra. Lissandra, more of an annoyance to deal with than actually enjoyable. Leona felt really good there. It's a pretty fun build. The Starforge Gauntlets do make Leona feel a lot better. And the new power that I'd never seen before, so the Grandeur Plaza, really, really nice. The extra stats, challenger, and an additional keyword. Really enjoyable to play around with. Highly recommend it, especially if you have any deck that's so much somewhat more focused on your units. Hope you guys enjoyed that run though. If you did, definitely like and subscribe and I hope you all have a great day.